In this video, I want to show you how you can use description templates to make your life much easier. So let's jump right into it and then I can show it to you. So we go to create description templates here with a bunch of information. We have the write your description template box and we have here a preview your description template box as well. I said this is a template where you can insert dynamic content based on these variables. And I can explain it the best way by just showing it to you. I've already prepared this text. So if I click on a variable, then it says copy to clipboard. And if I insert it, it will insert it with these double brackets. And if I now go to preview description, I see it looks much different than this side because the variables represent a certain characteristic. So the first variable is formats. And as you can see, this displays the formats, the ratios and the image sizes of your image. If you look here, it says displays the different ratios and print sizes, which will yield a 300 DPI image. The larger your image, the more sizes will be possible. But if I go to image dimension, you can see the width and height I've set. So if I change it to be a lower size and I do preview description. Now you can see there are less images, there are less sizes available because the other ones would not re reach uh, 300 dpi. All right, so next up is the total number of images. Since we are printing different sizes, one to one, two to three, and so on, we have separate images for these. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And now the number says seven because the original image is always included. Now, if you go down, number of formats you can print. And formats so if we go down it says 12 so now we can check this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 12 different formats the customers can use. Next up is the shop name, pretty self-explanatory. You can enter your shop name here, for example, like this, and it will change it automatically. So this is especially helpful if you have multiple shops, you can just quickly change it. You don't even, like you don't need to type it. You just set up the template once and you can use it for different shops. Last one is unique images. So if you have a listing with multiple images, then you have multiple different unique images, right? So for example, here, let's say I have two and I update it, it will say two here. And this will also affect the other variables. So for example, total number of images is now 14. If I change it back to oops, one, then it's seven. And the number of formats won't change. This is basically just all these formats which are written here combined. Now, since we have set up our template, we can actually save it. So if I go to name, I can enter name, generic, Oops. then we press save. And now you see the drop down, manage templates. We see our generic template and we can load different templates. So default template, preview, this is my default template, generic template, preview, this is the generic template. And obviously now if you go to create listing, we have this drop down here as well. This is the default description template. And if we switch to generic, switches to the generic one and that's already it for today thank you very much and have a great day see you then bye